that I had the idea. I, I know exactly why they exist. Mm -hmm. And I never created anything that didn't have some kind of meaning to me, at least. Um, and so this, a gallery in Washington produced this book for me uh, when I had a, a large show up there. And um, so in this book, it shows my public work. Is it the Thrive? Pardon? Is it the Thrive it, Museum? Um, no, this, this is at the Sacramento City Hall. This, this particular piece is a frieze uh, in the dome, and, uh, and the, this is in a hospital in San Diego, and this is in, but um, the, often, I, I love to do public work, I love, I love this larger scale, and I love the process, and I, I love the collaboration, so um, uh, oftentimes, my smaller pieces are just the maquettes. They, they are what I used mm -hmm. to try to sell the idea. Mm -hmm. Just step into the work, please. Um, so, in this instance, this was uh, 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 a, a, a client of mine in New York had offered, I had offered this to the Vatican. Uh, it's, it's obviously kind of a crucifix figure, but I, in, in my own uh, psychology, I wanted to produce a, a Christ figure that wasn't a victim. And uh, in, in this instance, it's like an Olympic diver mm -hmm. that Christ, uh, I, I call it the eternal diver because uh, uh, in my travels in uh, Italy, there are very few examples of Greek classical painting existent, but they, they discovered a pastum uh, in the inside uh, cover of a sarcophagi, of this famous painting, it's called The Diver of Pastum, and it's one of the few ex existent um, examples of Greek classical painting from the fifth century. And what it depicts is this youth, arched back, diving through space, diving off a cliff and into eternity. So, so it, was that, it was that image that kind of married in my mind for this sense of, uh, you know, Christ can no longer back up. It's, he's committed and mm -hmm. he's diving into eternity, but heroically. Mm -hmm. And 